Hey guys, uh, it's Bug, and, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to download Live Split and kind of like an in depth tutorial on how to use it and the general controls of it all. Uh, so, the very first thing you wanna do is make sure you have it installed. You can do this by going into my casting server, go to resources, and then go to Live Split info. And then here you will have the Live Split download. <coughs> Just follow this link and uh, get the download the most recent one, which I already have. Now, once you have downloaded that, you just want to open it up, the uh, file, or you want to drag it onto your desktop and then open it up. Then you want to go down until you find something called livesplit.exe. This is the only one you need out of all of these really. And you just want to double click it and then it will open up. Right here. Yours won't look like this however. That's what yours will look like when you first open it, if this is your first time ever using livesplit. I want uh, this to look like my one and make it invisible on OBS like I do when I cast. You just want to go into my Discord and download this file right here. I already have it right here in the middle of my screen, so I won't need it. And all you want to do once you download it, drag onto your desktop and then double click it. Now once you've double clicked it, it will create a second live split. Now you won't need uh, this one anymore, so you just want to press exit. Yeah. Now once you have this. The first thing you need to know is how to change the title. All you want to do for that is go to edit splits and then you can change the title of the top here. So plug tutorial. And as you can see, if I now press OK, that changes that main title. And then the way you can get the second kind of subtitle is changing this one. So this is where when you're casting, you put your two teams that are playing. So let's say TTT versus TT. And as you can see, that changes there. If when you've downloaded this, it, the timer doesn't say minus 10, just go to start timer and change this to minus 10. It probably will be at zero when you first download it. It makes it look like that, but that's not what you want. You want minus 10, just like that. Next thing you can do is add this little picture in the top right. All you have to do is double click it and then go over to your picture and import the picture that you want. The next thing you need to do is go down to edit layout In here you can kind of customize what order you want everything so if you did want the title at the bottom you can do I prefer not to um, When you download this all this should be here uh, Next thing if you want to do is change the teams like right here these two I'm gonna double click this And then here you can change the team so change it to TTT so that it matches our title at the top and then you just press OK as you can see that has changed right there and to change the scores it's the exact same top one top option changes the left hand side so this one and the bottom option uh, one, changes this side so you don't press OK see we've got zero here and one there now the general controls are settings uh, yeah, when you're in settings, you can change all this to whatever you want. Uh, I don't recommend having anything is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, because when you're casting, that's what you use to choose who you're spectating. I have my start split and reset split is uh, period and comma. These are the only two you're going to be using when you're uh, casting. So if all of these say none, leave them as none. That's the best thing to do. With these settings, you haven't really got to change any of these global hotkeys. I'm not really sure what does. Lower tap prevention just stops you from, you know, tapping it twice straight away. Pretty much it for the settings. So if you look here, now when I press dot, it starts the timer. As you can see, it started the timer. And to stop it, you press uh, period again, or whatever you chose to start your timer. And it will stop. And then press it the third time and it will go back. Now, some of you may be wondering how you get this to say latest. Say maybe it's not working for you and how you get the timer on the side to work. Before, for that, all you need to do is go down to settings first. Then you want to go down to choose active comparisons. And then here you want to tick latest run. You tick that and press OK. And then you press OK there. The next thing you want to do is go to edit layout. And edit layout you have to go to previous segment and then double click it and you change this from where whatever it was on the latest run as you can see here it says latest not latest run and then you press ok 
make sure this works you have to make sure that when you go to edit split these first three you won't have this one just ignore this one called latest these first three split time segment time and best segment these should all be at 0 0.01 if they're not at 0 0.01 please change them to that otherwise none of this will work as you can see now if i press the start timer As you can see, it's now comparing me, comparing the time from the last time. If I now stop this at let's say 10 seconds, <coughs> 9 top 9, <laughs> close enough. If I now stop the, stop the timer here and I then press the period again and then again, when this goes past the minus 10 timer, it will now compare it to that last time I just had, so 9 top 9 in this case. As you can see, is comparing it to the previous time that I just ran for and now let's say if they ran for 12 seconds press period to pause the time press period again to save that previous time and I press period again to restart the time and now you'll see to compare it to 12 and that's all you really need to know for the whole uh, live split option you don't really need anything else i don't believe so uh, that's all i use anyway now some of you may be wondering how you get it to be invisible on obs now the way you get it visible on obs give me a second there we go <clears throat> and i did as you can see if i go to my gorilla tag option here in the timer it is invisible in the background i just have the main banner essentials all you need to do for that is first of all you need to create your live split option by pressing that little plus then you go to window capture change this name to whatever you want such as live split i'm gonna call my live split one as i already have one called live split <coughs> you create and you choose what window and in this case i'm gonna choose the live split window and then turn off your cursor because when you have to click on it you know you don't want people you know seeing your cursor on that as you can see, I now have a window here. I have my live split here out the way, and then I can move this wherever I want on the OBS screen. Well, the way you get it invisible is once you have that Windows capture, you right click it, and then you want to go to filters. Next, you want to do is press the plus, and then you want to create a chroma key. And this way, you will create the chroma key to hide all of that blue. Once you've created a new chroma key, you're going to click heat color type and change it from whatever these are to custom. You're going to change the color to the exact color of this, which is in this case, hashtag 0064C8. Now, if you downloaded the one that I gave you, this should be the exact same as this. So everything should work. And next, you want to copy all of these settings right here. We have similar uh, similarity on 55, smoothness. On 184, heat color spill reduction on 249, opacity on 1, contrast on 0, brightness on 0, and gamma on 0. Now you can change some of these to your liking. You see, the more you put this up, it kind of fades away. And then if you put it on 1, there's a lot of blue around the edges. If you just kind of put this down to 55, which I found would be the best option again it's completely up to you what you want to have as anyway that is about it for this uh video uh i hope this helps someone out there thanks for watching and i hope you enjoyed the video see you